What's going on guys? I'm gonna give you an update on the quad so far, what's going on with the engine and everything. What I've done so far with this, I've just done a little, I haven't really done much. I just took off the back cover to check out this stuff back here. I've taken off that cover. I'm gonna clean out, um, clean up all this here. That's all dirty. All I've done on the front was just take off the main uh, uh, clutch stuff. Um, only reason I did that is because this chef has a little play in it. Now, if anybody has any type of knowledge uh, about these motors and everything, is this chef supposed to go in and out like this? I would really like to know, and I'm going to go to a probably go to a Kawasaki dealer and just ask them about this shaft. Should it move in and out like this? But, um, this one does too, but I don't know what this, I don't know what this shaft is here. But let me know, let me know if that's supposed to do that or not, because I'm just concerned with that. If it's, if it's not, if it's, if it's not too big of a deal, I'm just going to leave it and say whatever with it. So, but if it's something that they say, say like it's actually something you probably should fix, then I'm going to do it. Uh, over here, well, I've actually got this cylinder here bored. This cylinder is now bored for a 75 mil, a 75 millimeter piston. So I got that done about a, a couple, uh, maybe five days ago. Right after the last video went up, I basically went went the next day to get that board. So she's bored and honed. She's all ready to go back together. I've also taken out the valves. The valves actually were a little cruddy. If you look at this valve, has all this. It looks like the valve rotted right here, and then it looks like it got like it started bending the valve tips up. I don't know if you guys can see that little bit of like indentation going up halfway down. The exhaust valves aren't too bad. They're a little, like they're a little there, but I'm probably gonna reuse these cause I just saved some money. So save some money, I'm gonna save this. Um, use the exhaust valves, but definitely replace the intake valves. I've also cleaned the carbon all off them so that there's never carbon on them. So it's nice and smooth for the air to go through and out. Other than that, I haven't really done too much with it. I've just been waiting for parts to come in. I've ordered a bunch of stuff. Um, like I said, we got we got to clean up the head gasket, the head first still. Um, I was debating on getting a clutch. I'm probably not going to get a clutch. Probably just reuse that clutch. I think that clutch is still good according to the measurements I took on to the disc. It was on, It's still in spec, so I'm probably going to reuse them. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if maybe the little bit of clutch play I felt was that the shaft is not tight so what we might have to do with that is take the whole actually take the whole motor apart and actually go in and replace whoever needs to be replaced if a seal needs to be replaced i'll replace the seal i really don't care i'm i'm not scared to take the engine apart fully so she might be coming apart fully oh also i also got this engine stand here this engine it was about forty dollars really worth it actually because like i said what you do literally you have these two brackets here then you have a bolt, well, I mean just a screwdriver because the bolt was not long enough, but pull the bolt through that side there, put a, I put the bolt in this side here, and I get, this is an adjustable height. This can still go up pretty high. This can probably go up to about right here. A little bit more higher about, right there about probably. So, you can use it for up to a 500cc motor. It's a, it's all Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description if you guys want to buy a, one of these uh, jack, um, motor mounts for these engines it's really helpful i got to me it's very helpful if you're looking for a cheap one honestly it's worth it like i said it adjusts in and out too so if you gotta go wider all that kind of stuff so if you're just taking apart the engine like i am right now I'm, and even if you do gotta take apart the whole case this, this stand is made to go full to the side and what you could probably do is just relax one like loosen up one side here you know one of the sides and take the crankcase off that way so, figure out when we do we do that. If we if we have to do that, hopefully not, but might have to do that. Also, another thing I bought was I got some jets for the carburetor. I got some clean like this came with cleaners and everything. So, don't need I don't need the cleaner. Cause I'm, we're using a new carb anyways. But we have some jet needles, so if we got to adjust the um the fueling a little bit, we can. Might have to go up a size in jetting. I got some files. Now, I, to be honest, I bought these files because I'm, I was actually going to do the pistons, the rings myself. But the guy at the, the machine shop did them for me, and I didn't like I didn't really want to do, do them. But you know, it was worth it. I don't mind. Honestly, it makes my life a little easier. I don't have it takes less time for me to you know take uh, to do this. So more time for me to do more things I can do for this. All blah blah blah. So got the files. 
I'm gonna keep them just because you can always use files. So this is a valve kit here. This is a valve to put the valves back in easier. Uh, I'm not gonna explain because it's not, it's not hard to explain, but I don't feel like explaining it. Um, most common basic sense is that one side does, one side goes on the the piston. I mean, not the piston, the valve, and the other side will go on the other side of the valve stem to push the those little pieces out, and so vice versa. Other than that, that's really much, not really much going on other than that. I got the exhaust pipe. She's over there on top of the thing. Um, won't be playing the exhaust pipe until we do the turbo anyway, so it doesn't matter too much right now. Um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. We're not really doing too much other than that than waiting for parts and everything. Just mainly what, what's putting us on hold to put the engine back together is basically that shaft and the valve and the intake valves. So once I get those, we'll start putting it all back together. And after we figure out that, we'll definitely put them back together or take more apart one or the other. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, guys, please leave a like down below. Comment down below also about the engine. Please let me know if anybody knows anything about that valve. Or not the valve, the, the main shaft of this. If that should move in and out. Um, but other than that, guys, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.